everyone! Another lesson tayo. So, ngayon is grade 4 math, quarter 4, module 3, lesson 2. So, ang lesson 2 natin is finds the volume of a rectangular prism using cubic centimeter and cubic meter. So, ano yung example ng prism? Meron tayong tatlong klase ng prism. Rectangular prism, square prism, triangular prism. So, ang rectangular prism natin is rectangle ang kanyang base. Okay? So, ganito ang mukha ng rectangular prism. Ayan. So, rectangle ang kanyang base. And then, ang square prism, ang square prism natin is, ano siya, cube. So, ang cube is also a type of, oh, hindi na siya cube, hindi na siya square. Ayan. So, isipin nyo na lang na square ito. Tapos, ang triangular prism is triangle ang kanyang base, pero hindi ko alam kung paano i-drawing yung triangular prism. So, tandaan natin na meron tayong tatlong types of prism, rectangular prism, rectangle ang kanyang base, square prism, cube, triangular prism, triangle ang kanyang base. Meron tayong mga term na i-define. So, first is prism. Ano yung prism? A solid figure with two bases that are parallel and identical, poly identical polygons. So, kagaya ng i-drawing natin kanina, um, meron siyang two bases. At saka parallel yun siya at identical or magkapariho ang size ng kanyang base. So, Ang cubic unit, cubic unit is the unit used to find the volume of a solid. So, kapag volume yung hinahanap natin, cubic unit ang gamit natin. And then, ano yung volume? Volume is the number of cubic units needed to fill a solid figure. So, kung ilang cubic units ang kailangan mo para mapuno mo ang isang solid figure. For example, meron kang water tank. So, kung ilang cubic unit yung kailangan ng water para mapuno mo yung water tank. And then, formula. Ano yung formula na ginagamit natin sa pag-solve ng volume ng rectangular prism? So, ang formula niya is volume is equal to length multiplied by the weight, the width, sorry, and multiplied by the height. Or volume is equal to length times width times height. Dahil alam na natin kung ano yung um, formula sa pagkuha ng volume ng rectangular prism. So, ngayon is mag-solve tayo gamit ang ating example dito. So, meron tayong rectangular prism na meron siyang length na 10 cm. Ang kanyang width is 5 cm at ang kanyang height is 3 cm. So, isolve natin siya or hahanapin natin ang kanyang volume gamit ang formula natin na volume is equal to length times width times height. So, volume is equal to length. Ano yung length natin? 10 cm. So, 10 cm multiplied by the width. Ang width is 5 cm. 5 cm multiplied by the height. Ang height is 3 cm. So, 3 cm is equal to 10 times 5 is equal to 50. And then, centimeter times centimeter is equal to centimeter squared. Kasi dalawang centimeter na yung na multiply natin times 3 cm. So, 50 times 3 is equal to 150 centimeter squared times centimeter is equal to ilang centimeter na meron tayo? Tatlo. So, ibig sabihin, cubic centimeter. So, ibig sabihin, ang volume ng ating rectangular prism kung saan merong length na 10 cm, merong width na 5 cm, at merong height na 3 cm is equal to 150 cubic centimeter. Mag-solve naman tayo ng example na cubic meter. So, ngayon, meron tayong um, rectangular prism na ang kanyang length is 9 meter, ang kanyang width is 6 meter, at ang kanyang height is 8 meter. So, isolve natin siya gamit ang formula na volume is equal to length times width times height. So, volume is equal to ang kanyang length, 9 meter, multiplied by the width, ang kanyang width is 6 meter times 6 meter, Times the height, 8 meter. Okay. So, i-multiply natin. 9 times 6 is equal to 54. Meter times meter is equal to dalawang meter. So, meter squared. Times 8 meter. So, 54 times 8 is equal to 432. Ayan. So, pwede nyo siyang isolve sa inyong mga papel. Ang 54 times 8. And then, meter squared times meter, ilang meter meron tayo? 
tatlo. So, that is cubic meter. So, ibig sabihin, ang volume ng ating rectangular prism kung saan may length na 9 meter, may width na 6 meter, at may height na 8 meter is equal to 432 cubic meter. So, ganyan lang kadali hanapin ang volume ng rectangular prism using cubic centimeter at cubic meter. Basta alam mo lang yung kanyang formula na volume is equal to length times width times height. I-multiply mo lang silang tatlo at meron ka ng volume ng rectangular prism. Ang gagawin natin sa lesson 3 is solving routine and non-routine problems involving the volume of rectangular prism. Okay, so dalawa ang gagawin natin, routine and non-routine problem. So, ang first example natin is a routine problem. Maria bought a box of chocolate whose length is 10 cm, height 6 cm, and width 4 cm. What is the volume of the box? So, meron tayong problem dito. At ang pag-solve ng routine at non-routine problem, ang gagawin natin is meron tayong apat na steps para isolve ang ating problem. So, paulit-ulit lang talaga kapag routine at non-routine, meron talaga tayong mga steps na ginagawa. At usually, four steps talaga yun siya. So, ang first step natin sa lahat ng problem solving is understand. Sa understand is meron tayong dalawang point na dapat kunin. What is ask and identify the given number. So, so what is ask natin based sa ating problem? Ano yung hinahanap natin doon? Find the volume of the box. Pagkatapos, i-identify natin ang given number. So, ano yung given natin sa ating problem? Meron siyang length na 10 cm. Ito yung problem natin again. Meron siyang length na 10 cm. Ang kanyang height is 6 cm. At ang kanyang width is 4 cm. So, ito yung given natin. Sa so, step 2 is plan. Sa plan, choose the operation or formula. So, hahanapin na natin kung ano yung operation na gagamitin natin pagkatapos kung ano yung formula na gagamitin natin. And since ang pinag-uusapan natin is rectangular prism, ano yung formula ng rectangular prism? Ang formula sa pag-solve ng rectangular prism is equal to volume is equal to length times width times height. So, tatandaan natin na ito yung formula kapag rectangular prism ang ating pinag-uusapan. Step 3. So, sa so step 3 is isolve na natin. So, sa pag-solve natin, gagamitin na natin ang ating formula na volume is equal to length times width times height. So, mag-solve na tayo. Volume is equal to length. Ano yung length natin? 10 cm. Multiplied by the width. Ang width ng box is 4 cm. Times the height. Ang height ng box is 6 cm. So, i-multiply na natin. 10 times 4 is equal to 40 Centimeter times centimeter, dalawang centimeter, so centimeter squared, times 6 centimeter. So, 40 times 6 is equal to 240. Centimeter squared times centimeter is equal to tatlong centimeter, so that is cubic centimeter. So, ang volume ng ating rectangular prism is 240 cubic centimeter. Pero hindi dito mag-stop ang ating uh, solving the problem kasi meron pa siyang step 4. Ang step 4 natin is look back and check. So, ang gagawin mo ay look back and check is titingnan mo ang iyong solution kung tama ba yung pagka-multiply, titingnan mo siya kung tama ba yung pagkagawa mo. Pagkatapos, kapag nakita mo na tama siya, ang gagawin mo is state the complete answer. So, hindi pwede hanggang dito ka lang answer. Hindi. Ang gagawin mo is state mo ang iyong answer. So, the volume, ito yung answer, ito yung complete answer mo. The volume of the chocolate box is 240 cubic centimeter. So, ganito dapat pakasulat ang iyong complete answer. Dahil tapos na tayo sa routine problem, non-routine problem naman yung pag-uusapan natin. At ang non-routine problem is medyo challenging siya. Meron tayong example dito. Jaime received a big gift box from his grandmother on his birthday. The box has volume of 73,500 cubic centimeter. If it has a measurement of 105 centimeter long and 35 centimeter wide, what is the height of the box? So nakita niyo ang problem natin na given ang kanyang volume. So, isolve na natin siya. 
Dahil given ang kanyang volume, ano kaya yung hinahanap natin? So, step 1 tayo. So, step 1 is understanding the problem. So, in understanding the problem, meron tayong dalawang point. Ang point is who, what is asked, and what are given. So, so what is asked? Ano yung hinahanap natin? What is the height of the box? What are given? So, ano yung given natin? Ang given natin is 73,500 cubic centimeter na volume. Length is 105 centimeter and width is 35 centimeter. So, ito yung given natin. Then, step 2 is plan. So, planuhin na natin kung paano kaya natin isolve. Choose the operation or formula to use. So, ano yung formula na gagamitin natin? Since ang formula natin sa pag-solve ng rectangular prism is volume is equal to length times width times height, applicable lamang siya kapag volume ang hinahanap mo. Pero sa given natin, meron na tayong volume. Ang hinahanap natin is ang height. So, paano natin kukunin ang formula sa pagkuha ng height? Okay. So, ang formula sa pagkuha ng height, of course, ang formula natin is equal to volume is equal to length times width times height. Okay? So, ito yung formula natin sa pag-solve ng volume. Pero kasi ang hinahanap natin is ang height. So, paano natin kukunin ang ating formula? Para hindi kayo malito, ganito ang gawin nyo. So, volume, length times width times height. Divided by, i-divide natin siya ng length and width para ma-cancel natin siya. Length times width, dahil nag-divide tayo ng length times width dito, i-divide din natin sa kabila. So, divided by length times width. Bakit tayo nag-divide? Para si height ang maiwan kasi si height yung isosolve natin. So, length times width and length times width, cancel. Volume over length times width. So, volume divided by length times width is equal to... Height. So, ito na yung formula natin. Height is equal to volume divided by length times width. So, ito na yung gagamitin natin sa pag-solve ng ating height. Dahil meron na tayong formula na height is equal to volume divided by length times width, isolve na natin siya. So, height is equal to ano yung volume natin? 73,500 cubic centimeter. Divided by, ang length natin is 105 centimeter times the width, ang width is 35 centimeter. So, isolve na natin. 73,500 cubic centimeter divided by 105 times 35 is equal to 3,675 cube uh, centimeter squared. So, pwede nyo siyang i-multiply sa inyong mga papel. Itong si 105 centimeter at si 35 centimeter. Para makita nyo na tama yung sagot natin dito na 3,675 centimeter. So, ngayon, i-divide na natin si 73,500 divided by 3,600. So, i-divide natin si 73,500 divided by... 3,675. So, 73,500 divided by 3,675. So, ilang number meron tayo dito? Apat. So, apat din dapat ang i-divide natin. So, 7,350 divided by 3,675 or 3,675. 73 divided by 36. So, that is 2. Kasi 36 times 2, 72. At 73 tayo dito. So, 2 yung sagot natin. 2. So, 2 times 5 is equal to 10, carry 1. 2 times 7 is equal to 14, plus 1, 15, carry 1. 2 times 6 is equal to 12, plus 1 is equal to 13, carry 1. This is 5. And 2 times 3 is equal to 6, plus 1 is equal to 7. So, subtract. Okay, so that is 0. Bring down 0. 0 divided by 3, 6 is equal to 0. 0 times 0 is equal to 0. Ayan. So, ang sagot natin sa 73,500 cubic centimeter divided by 3,675 centimeter squared is 20 centimeter. So, bakit naging centimeter siya? Na meron tayong cube dito at saka squared dito. Okay, so i-explain ko sa inyo kung bakit naging centimeter na lang ito kasi merong exponent yung mga centimeter natin. Sa taas is 3, sa baba is 2. Kasi para hindi niya sabihin na nag-magic-magic tayo, so centimeter squared divided by o cube divided by centimeter squared. So, 3 dito at 2 dito. Kapag nag-divide ka ng exponent, ang gagawin mo is isubtract mo ang exponent. So, that is centimeter cube 
minus 2. Kasi 2 ang nandito. At kapag nag-divide ka ng parehong base, ang centimeter at centimeter, pareho yung base nila, di ba? So, kasi kapag pareho yung base nila, kopyahin mo lang yung base at ang exponent is isubtract mo. So, ang 3 dito, minus 2. So, that is centimeters cubed minus 2 is equal to centimeter na lang yung naiwan. Or si centimeter, understood na meron yan siyang exponent na 1. Pero hindi na natin siya sinusulat. Understood na yan siya. So, that's why 20 centimeter ang sagot natin sa ating height. Step 4. Look back and check. So, i-check natin yung mga multiplication, yung mga division natin, kung tama ba yung pagka-multiply at pagka-divide natin. And then, pagkatapos, i-state natin ang ating complete answer. So, ang complete answer natin, therefore, the height of the box is 20 centimeters. So, ito na yung sagot natin. That's all for today's video, guys. See you in our next lesson. Bye!